guys, I'm Sunshine Flying, you can call me Tia, and today we are at 701 Zenview to work on yet another apartment renovation. This apartment renovation was interesting, to say the least. Um, as you can see here, I'm already struggling with the fact that demolishing the apartment rather than going through piece by piece and deleting everything mysteriously got rid of a section of flooring um, for no apparent reason um, and I could not get it to add flooring back so that was fun um, <laughs> anyway if there's anything that building this San My Shuno renovation save file taught me it's that there are a lot of limitations in this world um, one of which being how apartments look when you demolish them. Um, if you noticed as well at the very beginning, the wall leading out to the balcony also got deleted and that has happened to us before on another build. Um, I'm not particularly sure why that happens, but it is what it is. Um, but this apartment was quite a challenge for me. Um, just because it had the two stories and I was having that issue with the flooring um, and Zen view is I think one of only maybe two or three apartments in San Maishuno that has multiple stories so um, really tried to work with that as best I could and um, tried to make something unique and what actually ended up happening is I realized once I'd finished the build that this seemed to be a very Brindleton Bay inspired apartment. Um, I used a lot of items from Cats and Dogs and um, I feel like it really has that vibe just in terms of the flooring and the wallpapers and the colors um, and of course the uh, uh, rafters or um, I don't know if it's rafters but the wooden supports beams that go throughout the lower level um, but I just kind of loved the effect that it gave and the vibe that it gave and I rolled with that then and keeping with the pastels and that light colored flooring and um, I think I do use a bunch of cats and dog stuff so but here I'm just trying to fix that like disappearing floor issue and wouldn't you know it all I had to do was leave and come back and it was fixed so um there's definitely a bunch of limitations to San Maishuno as a world and to apartments as they are um, in the game. So, For those of you who are new here, um, I wanted to share how you are able to access these apartments. Um, I will be releasing a save file with just the San Maishuno renovations in it. Um, once I finish renovating every lot in San Maishuno. Um, this also means the community lots. Uh, you, if you have not noticed already, I am dropping those on my YouTube channel on Build Fridays. Um, so if you are interested in seeing those as well, they are kind of buried in the midst of all of my outdoorsy inspired um, and other builds. Um, a notable one is I, create, I recreated Dolly Parton's rooftop bar. Um, and there are others as well if you're interested in checking that out but once every lot is finished I will just be sharing that save file rather than uploading everything to the gallery because yet another shortcoming of this world and the way it functions in the sims is that you can't just upload an apartment to the gallery the gallery will only accept houses or rooms of which apartments are neither um, you can you can get around it by deleting doors as Lil Simsy has showed us, but that is a lot of work and I would much rather just upload a save file for everybody um, in the end. Um, so keep an eye out for that as I will be sharing that as soon as it's ready and we are getting close to the end now and can I just say I'm kind of excited about that. I'm ready to try something new and um, work on renovating some houses instead of just a world. So um, this series will continue beyond San Maishuno. 
Um, and I am thinking that I will start in Willow Creek next. Um, just to have a break from apartments. I know we can get apartments in um, Evergreen Harbor, but I am going to take a bit of a break between apartments and try another world first. So um, one thing that I want to do as I kind of renovate each world is I also want to set like a distinctive style for them. So if there are any worlds that there's a specific construction style you would really like to see, um, do let me know in the comments below because I would happily take ideas, suggestions, thoughts um, as I develop these series further. So um, here I'm just making a generic girl's room. Um, I suppose it could be a kid. It doesn't have to be a girl even with the colors. Um, just making it kind of cozy and cute. Um, had a lot of fun making this room and actually did a lot with cluttering that I don't usually do. So that was also um, something new for me. Um, this apartment is kind of decorated a little bit like a sample apartment almost. Um, not a ton of clutter, but I did try to add some to make it look lived in. And of course the pompous grass, I put that all over every build now. It is my absolute favorite decor item. Um, the it's doing the big lift for Dream Home Decorator because um, the more I use Dream Home Decorator, the more I realize there are a lot of shortcomings in the way some of the items function and lock together and things like that. Um, but overall, I am happy with how the pieces from that collection work. Um, again, I do not have cottage living um, or country living. I can never keep it straight. but. Um, I do not have that pack yet, so you won't be seeing any of that kind of content from me for the foreseeable future. Um, I, it's expensive, it's a lot of money, and I am not a huge cottage core person. I'm more of an outdoorsy camping kind of person. Um, I don't do a lot of gameplay, so a lot of the new gameplay mechanics don't particularly appeal to me as a simmer. Um, there are some really gorgeous build by mode things that I would like to use, but I just can't justify spending $40 on that. Um, for those of you who don't follow me on Twitch, I am getting married in one month from the day I am recording this. So um, all my money, time, thought, and energy has been focused on that. Um, so. I am also just realizing that I don't think I did anything to the deck for this apartment. So I will try to get in and do that before I upload this save file um, because that is kind of important having that outdoor space to hang out in. Um, but I will say the Dream Home Decorator stuff worked perfectly in this um, kitchen. I am really happy with how the kitchen turned out actually. Um, I usually do either like a galley kitchen type style or um, more just open, but having this L-shaped island that I'm about to add in was really fun actually and I love the way it turned out and the way it looked um, and just created more of like a, a cozy vibe and um, kind of enclosed the um, dining room space a little bit better. Um, Definitely having fun here, adding in some decor, some toys for the kiddos, um, and I am obsessed with the color on the walls right now. I don't usually use like that teal wallpaper, but I am so obsessed with how it looks. I love it. Um, there's space for the kid to play under the stairs as mom or dad is making dinner. Um, and I, I thought I put in an L-shaped counter, but I guess not. So we will, we will have to see there. But I definitely kind of divided this off entryway versus living space. Um, I like doing that just to kind of give a little bit more of an area for storing your coat and shoes. Um, I will say, I know I knock on Dream Home Decorator a lot. But I love the little clutter pieces of the shoes without the shoe rack. 
Um, I just really love uh, being able to place that by the door or in the bedroom or under the dresser. They, they fit in so many great spots that it's just really awesome. Um, I also love kind of lifting those pieces up to put those art pieces on the table. Um, I know they are floating just a little bit. I do not have the Red Shelf mod yet, but hopefully we'll have that soon. Um, here we go. Yep, I am adding the counter bar. I thought so. I'm just doubting myself at every turn, um, but really happy with how that turned out and the living space as well. So um, I am also tackling 702's in view very soon. It is the same kind of principle, uh, the two-story apartment, um, and that one will be very different. Um, I, I'm actually recording the voiceover for both of them today, so I already know what's in store for you, and I hope that you will get excited about that, uh, especially if you are big on internet um, gamers, internet uh, personalities, and that sort of thing, because I definitely uh, use those folks as inspiration for the build that I did next. Um, or the renovation that I do next. Um, but just adding some plants, some greenery, uh, definitely rolling with that kind of country Brindleton Bay vibe that I set up in this apartment. And of course, we're going to throw in the Dream Home Decorator sectional because that was a game changer. And again, for how much I knock on that kit, there is something to be said about finally having a sectional. And I am so, so glad that we do. So, um, Otherwise, I think we are getting near the end of this build now. Um, so I just want to thank you all, as usual, for watching. Again, if you do not follow me over on Twitch, I recommend it. I do these kinds of builds and so, so much more. I'm doing a collaboration this week with another really talented simmer. Um, all kinds of relays and streamathons with some really great sim um, communities. And I would love to have you over there. Um, in my streams or say hello to you in other folks' streams. So all of my socials are in my profile. Um, you can also find me on t Twitter and Instagram and I will eventually figure out how to use my TikTok. Um, but until then, thank you so, so much for watching. I appreciate all your support and I look forward to seeing what you have to say in the comments and I will see you in my next video. Bye birdies.